see here the minimum spacing for the pie in the four is two point five. Okay, now let me click and the deep bar we had to select for hundred ten megapascal and the deep bar size you can do the deep bar size okay bar spacing okay now let me use this one and cover you can create it to 50 the bottom cover is 70 side cover now let me keep to uh, 50 okay now let me uh, click on the spy you can uh, verify with the survey load so we load a uh, is equal to 3390 yeah 3390 and your building capacity of the pie is around uh, what it is let me check our well, catalog yeah 1500 okay let me check it's equal to SLS divide 1500 now let me play it 3 okay play it 3 okay the shape you can uh, do the rectangular and triangle now let me click on the triangle and select it and if you do rectangular let's check what is rectangular yeah the step we keep the rectangular now you can uh, change it control shut again now let me place the pi is 2 uh, okay again the 2 and split it all okay put this one the pi below the the Elevator, you can model it as a uh, rough foundation. Okay, now let me click on the rough foundation. I see it again. And click on the rectangular, you can model it rectangular. Now let me click. Click one. No, sorry. Control set again. Okay, now let me click area. You can uh, click it as area to design the pie. Yes, you has uh, defined the grid. Okay, you have to define the grid to the option. Now let me click on rectangular. Okay, click on 3D view. come back now let me complete modeling this uh, 
okay and change the thickness and now let it pie one now let click on 2d Okay, this one come back and click on the portion, click on the portion. Okay, now let me increase it to the thickness. To uh, 800 millimeter. Okay, now let's check. Yes, this one is correct. Now let me come back. And you can copy it. You can copy it. Now let me copy it right from this model. Click one, control, control, control. Click on this uh, revolution. Click on edit, copy. one point click second point okay now rotate to check and let move it click on move and click on move again yes when when uh, we do, do not use grid line it is difficult to touch yes now come back click on 2d let me delete this pie control delete Okay, I model it. Yes. Click on condition, click on file. Yes, let. Okay, now click on 3D to check. Yes, this one correct. Now let's check this side. Yeah, also correct. Okay. Now you can check about the thickness or the or the pie well, uh, or the pie cap. It's okay or not? Pie spacing. Yeah, the dip is uh, 750, you can come back to you on the 2D. And you can select it all. 
if you want to change the thickness or the pie cap click on the pie cap okay if you want to change it now let me change it to uh, 900 let me change okay for the pie cap we do the same control control select now let me change to 900 okay now let me copy to this side click control click control click control click control use the edit copy copy okay now it's complete you can uh, orientate uh, the pie cap and ball pie and let me show it in default okay click on 3d view and click on seal now let me delete the the support select all and click on delete and untick all and support click ok ok control shut again you cannot delete the support so this software is automatically uh, transfer the, the load to the foundation yes don't worry about the support ok now after complete modeling upper and uh, foundation let's apply the the uh, the wall okay we apply the, the the load of wall now again click on the loading and select the deload okay deload and click on the line load we apply the line load the minute should load a then t multiply the signal of wall multiply with the height of wall height of wall is uh, so, uh, 3.2 minus uh, 0 0.5 so now 2.7 it's equal to 8.64 okay now let me apply 8.64 enter and click online now let me apply the line load okay Now for the inside bidding we apply the the wall wall uh, tent sigma uh, signal of wall is ten so divide it to four point thirty two four point thirty two enter okay
now let me check our 3D check all the dead load ok we have to check the apply of the dead load it's ok or not turn off the reload check on the loading ok turn off uh, reload we want to show the member yeah load on the member ok now let me check yes it correct yes everything now is uh, correct with our concept let me run and let's see and check it again it's ok or not now let click on the unlike run and ally ok run load combination ok click ok this is uh, the estimate uh, ultimate load but uh, this load is not include the secondary beam you have to add a secondary beam we speak it the higher end value the the estimate is uh, 475 ton for the grid line 2d so as the complete analysis we will check this load is maybe around uh, 500 or 600 kiloton yes now let me check on the load combination now let me check this load combination no with wind load yeah this one okay yes now grid line is 2d yes this this load is with the wind load, this load is not wind load, it uh, only the gravity load ok, we are in the grid line 2D come back again to ND, yes now the estimate load, yes it may be uh, around here click on zero again Click on show again. The estimate uh, ultimate load is seven thousand five hundred six kiloton. Yes, seven thousand five hundred six kiloton. Kiloton. Okay. Now let me check. Come back to the three D and click on the top view click on the grid line ok again click on the grid line 2D yes we add 2D. so we add uh, this beam ok this beam this beam this beam now you can check the length of beam is 6.5 meter now let me click on the model dimension click 1.2.6 yes 6 meter 6 meter and click on 3d now let's check the load of the beam turn off the service uh, the slave item take the the the, the mouse over this beam to show information the load is 41.2 kilogram per meter length yes 41 okay now let me add for the slab and now for the col for the beam yes for the beam
and for the secondary beam secondary beam okay multiply with four again four one two four one two multiply with six and multiply with two okay yeah uh, one baby has a uh, one okay this is one and this one so we, we multiply with two okay now let me spend okay this column we receive uh, this beam this beam okay so uh, the total length is uh, 12 okay the correct okay for the secondary beam let me show for the light load and for the ultimate load the spec is uh, 4,162 kN now let me check with the 3D and right click result review and let's check on the 2d okay 2d grid line 2d So the estimate, yeah, estimate load, and the actual load is uh, different too much. So let's check it again. Why, why, why? Oh, because we do not include the brick. Okay, the brick load. Now let me check the brick load. Okay. Escape insert now I break break wall 10 cm we apply it the load of the wall now let me show you okay Good line 2d yes to and the this one yes this grid line you see uh, the the wall the magnitude of load a 4.3 okay 4.3 is equal to 4.3 multiply with uh, sigma multiply with 15 story okay 15 yes Now you see here the our estimate uh, ultimate load is uh, five thousand around five thousand three hundred kilonewton. The actual is uh, seven ten thousand five hundred zero point six kilonewton. Now let me check again what is different.
to C and D. Okay. Now we also include uh, some load from this wall. Okay. So uh, this view is acceptable right now. Let me continue to analyze the design. Okay. Check. Run 3D. Okay. Click on seal. Now let's come back to unlike you the reserve view. You can show for the envelope. Okay, the envelope force. is uh, the, the envelope force now let me check one column okay one column now let me check this column right click to check the open member view so the member loading okay now let me click on show the member loading yes again click and right click right click open member view yes now you can show the member view come back right click open load analyze CPU and you can check uh, the total load okay the total load the on load for the distance row the whole beam you can select to show only one beam segment now let me show you how to uh, select Y1 or 2 you can click here 1 okay 1 for the best okay for the best story or you can click on 2 now let me click on the whole beam 